Hello everyone, I am Tubby Squirrel. I am a VTuber and streamer in the Dead by Daylight community. And I just wanted to sort of give my two cents on this great uh, DC penalty debate. <clears throat> so for those of you not in the know, um, in the next um, update, um, the update that's bringing Nicolas Cage into the game, which is crazy, but along with that update, we are also getting bots that will take over for a player who disconnects from the uh, match. And um, so now the question has been brought up. With disconnect bots coming into the game, do we still need a disconnect penalty? And my short answer is no. Uh, my long answer is no, but with some conditions and caveats, which I will explain. Um, but first, I think um, any opinions about the game should be referenced with some background information so that you can take it as you will. Um, uh, just so that it can be known from what perspective the opinion is coming from. This is from the perspective of someone who is coming up on 1500 hours. Um, I don't feel like I'm high MMR. I mean, I might be. I have no way of telling, but I really don't feel like I am, even though I'm 1500 hours into the game. And I'm about 85% killer main. Like a killer main about 85-15 uh, killer survivor. Um, I have no particular killer main, so yeah, I just play most of the roster. But that's just pre-facing information uh, so that you know where this take is coming from. Um, but short answer, I think no. Because the reason, you look at the reason DC penalties were needed and they, and they were necessary up until this point um, it's a team-based game. Now, one, one of one, uh, and it is extremely selfish to disconnect just because you personally are not having fun, because you ruin the fun for at least three other people, usually four other people, because usually the killer is also disappointed when someone DCs super early, because now they just kind of have to go through the motions. Uh, the other three survivors get a uh, nigh unwinnable match, um, and and the person who disconnected is sat there with a five minute or more uh, penalty, um, and it's just it's just bad all around. Uh, so there needed to be a penalty. Um, you now some people will say like. Oh, you know, I bought the game, so I should I could DC if I want. And that would be a valid argument if Dead by Daylight were a single player game. Like uh say um like say StarCraft. If you hated the uh the Zerg versus Protoss ma matchup, just as a random example. Uh, like you hated going against Zergus or Protoss, you thought it was unfair or unfun, and you disconnect. Well, you and the person you disconnected against are just gonna go immediately to the next match, and it's whatever. But in a team based game, like say Valorant, Smite, or Dead by Daylight, you're fucking your whole team when you do that. So, yes, you should be punished when you do that. Um. However, with the DC bot coming in, a, a, an AI that's going to take over for you, and they're pretty good. I like people are saying, oh man, the bots are going to get clapped so easy. And no, they're, they're, the bots are pretty good, if I'm honest. Uh, and no matter what, a bot is going to be better than someone who doesn't want to play. Because even if someone who doesn't want to play stays in the game, they're, they're not going to be playing very efficiently. Um... But, uh, but now that the bots are coming in, that removes the main reason that DCing is so bad. Um, so I think the DC penalty should be removed because 
someone wanting to dodge the DC penalty could just kill themselves on hook, which is currently what people do anyway. And people will continue to kill themselves on hook if it means dodging the DC penalty, because sometimes you just, you know, you want to dodge a match that's not fun, or get a map you don't like, or a killer you don't like. Um, or maybe you're, you know, maybe you're, uh, uh, maybe you're streaming in a, a really long, th uh, in a match where the killer is holding a 3-gen for a really long time is just boring to stream, and you, you want to go next, but you, you can't just disconnect because, you know, the, uh, sitting there with the matchmaking ban is also boring to watch. So you, you get caught on purpose, you suicide on hook, and you go next that way. Um, for people to stop doing that, there needs to be no DC penalty. That way people actually use the fail safe in place. Like that way the bots are actually summoned when someone wants to quit the game. So that is one, that is the biggest reason that we need to do away with the DC penalty when the bots come in because the bots won't get summoned if the person just suicides on hook to dodge the penalty. Um, and a bot is much more useful than a dead teammate. Um, now, you might think, oh, well, why don't we keep DC penalties but remove the ability to kill yourself on the hook? Well, that has its own problems as well, and it's also very easy to get around. If you remove the ability to attempt to go, the um, person gets on the hook, they get rescued, they run straight back to the killer to get hooked again. It, it's not that hard to, to, to dodge that measure. Uh, not to mention, um, there are two perks yeah, two perks, uh, two Steam achievements, and six, no, yes, six, six or seven offerings that have to do with Kobeing off the hook. So, y you would have, it would be a lot of work to remove that, com that, uh, that aspect of the game, because you'd have to rework Slippery Meat, up the ante, all the luck offerings, and the two achievements that have to do with the successful self on hooks. Um, and I just I don't see them doing all that. Plus, it's one of the last. It's one of the, it's a fun, crazy, wild, unexpected thing that can happen. And I think things like that should stay. Um. Now, one argument I'm seeing against this is that all oh, survivors are just gonna disconnect every single match, every slight inconvenience. And I don't really think so. I don't think it's gonna be quite as bad as it's being hyped up that it's gonna be as certain people are hyping it up to be. Um, I feel like everyone who is going to DC a lot already is. If, if that makes any sense. Every, everyone who's going to DC at anything they don't like is already doing that, either by DCing and eating the penalty or just suiciding on hook or getting caught on purpose or, or whatever. Or, you know, just hiding in a locker the whole game. Everyone who wants to not play versus certain things is already not playing against certain things. All this will do is encourage them to do it in the way that summons a replacement for them. Um, and I don't, I again, I don't think it'll be as bad as people think. Even some of the most universally agreed upon hated killers, like, like Skull Merchant, really don't even get an average of one DC per match. Like everyone jokes about, oh, hey, everyone DCs against Skull Merchant. But no, not, not really. If you if you were to watch it, like even if the number of DCs against certain killers were to triple, 
were to quadruple, it would not be near as bad as people are saying. People are, some people are acting like it's gonna be four DCs every single match. It's, it's not. Calm down. Um. Now, for those caveats I talked about, I think you should still get zero blood points when you disconnect. Uh, the reason I say this, you, you know, you, it's like, oh, Tubby Scroll, you said that there shouldn't be a penalty. Yes, there shouldn't be a penalty. However, no blood points isn't a penalty. It's you not getting the reward. See, because blood points are your reward for finishing the match. That, that's the reward you earn by, by finishing the game, by playing to the end of the game. So zero blood points isn't a penalty. It's just you didn't earn the reward. And uh, I, I don't really think that will deter people because currently people DC with like, you know, five <laughs> cakes in play. So, uh, so I don't think it'll be uh, that much of a deal breaker for people. Like, I don't think people will opt to suicide on hook. Um, to, you know, just to get, you know, 5k blood points or whatever. Um, but yeah, I do think that if you DC, you should still get zero blood points, but you shouldn't get the matchmaking ban, because with the matchmaking ban, all that's gonna do is make people suicide on hook. I don't think near as many people are gonna DC as some people are hyping it up. Um... And, uh, where was I going with this? Yeah, n nowhere near as many are gonna, are gonna DC as it's being hyped up. Um, and, yeah, and now, now I remember my last point now. There does need to be one, um, one slight amendum to this. Um, and this would just be a, a measure for the, like, mental health of the person. Uh, if you DC, like, uh, ten times or something in, in a single day, then you should receive some sort of matchmaking ban, like, say, 30 minutes on the 10th DC, uh, like, 45 on the 11th, and then, like, from the 12th onward, it should be, like, an hour or something, uh, because... At that point, if you're DCing more than 10 times in a day, you clearly need to take a break from the game. And the game should enforce that because I, I feel like that's just a, a for your own health. If you if you are so fed up with the game that you are that you are DCing 10 times in a day, then you clearly need to take a break and and the game should enforce like whoa. Whoa! You need to, you need to you need to step away and take a break. Um, but for the most part, I think when the when the bots get here, um, we sh we should be able to, you should be able to. I'm still not gonna DC because I I still think it's babyish. But I think the DC penalty should be removed. I uh, even as a killer main of 1,500 hours. I, I don't see any point in the DC penalty once the bots are here. Um, because again, like I said, if the DC penalty remains, people, uh, a lot more people will just suicide on hook to dodge the DC penalty. And, and that just completely bypasses the entire point of introducing the DC bots to begin with. Because the whole point of introducing this system is so that one person can decide, I don't want to play this match anymore, and it not ruin the game for everyone else. If if they if they decide, I don't want to play in this match anymore, and they click the disconnect button, and a bot you know replaces them, the match is not is no longer ruined for the other uh, four players. But if they decide, I don't want to play in this match anymore, but I don't want, uh, you know, a disconnect ban. I don't want the DC penalty, and they just, uh, you know, run straight for the killer and suicide on hook. Then the match is still ruined for the other, you know, for their other three teammates. Um, 
so for the system to even work, people need to want to do it. People need to want to DC instead of suiciding on hook. And the way for that to happen is that there's no DC penalty. Um, plus, not to mention, sometimes the internet gives out. Sometimes you know the game is over and, you know, maybe the others don't realize it. Um, you know, whatever reason. Um, and maybe, maybe it's clown and you, and you have motion sickness. You know, there, there are plenty of good and bad reasons to DC. Um, so that's, that's my opinion. Remove DC penalties. Um, if you DC, you still don't get any blood points because blood points are your reward for finishing the match. Uh, but if you DC like 10 times or something in a day, then the game should force you to take a break. Um, but that is uh, my two cents. This is actually my second, uh, my second uh, recording of this because of my first take, I, um, I missed a bunch of the talking points I wanted to talk about. So hopefully I got everything this time and uh, see ya.